Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I'm doing a 1,500 Twitter followers special. This special is basically showing you guys how to downgrade from iOS 7.1.1, which my iPhone is at right now. But I put my iPhone into DFU mode, so I can't really prove it to you. But I am telling you guys, it is at 7.1.1, and I will put links into the description for all of the stuff you need, which is right here. I'll put links into description for all of those you need these and you need the latest version of iTunes right here um, you're not really gonna need that you, but you're gonna need iTunes patch which I'll put in the description so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to download iRev and run it as administrator um, put your iPhone into DFU mode and click iPhone 4 and wait for your computer to realize it and then it will say exploit in line rain exploit and then it will say your device is now pwned as in and in black screen and at black screen so what you're going to do from this point is you're going to click ok and close out of that and open the itunes patch as i said i'll put the links in the description for everything so open itunes patch and click on itunes exe um if you guys are having problems open it all you need to do is um um, obviously it will come up with that all you need to do is go to music and an iTunes folder will be here move it into documents and then try opening it again um, so once it's open all you need to do is click shift and you're gonna need to choose the geek snow um, the geek grade um, one that you need to you want to downgrade back to the custom IPSW you're going to need to click on it you're going to need to click shift and then click restore you're going to need to hold your f um, finger on shift so once you've done that you just click that and then it will say extracting software so I'm going to stay with you guys for a bit until it comes up with the um, restoring part so we'll just wait for it to come off of extracting software And as I said before, I will put in all of these links into the description, and also I will be posting this video on the, my website, and I will post in links on my website. So if you just go to my website, if you have it saved, you'll see everything there. I take no um, credit for this tutorial. Everything comes from Black Geek Tutorial. He was the one who made Geek Grade. I did not make Geek Grade. Obviously, I made this tutorial, but I didn't make geek grade so all the credit goes to black geek tutorial i'll put a link in the description to his twitter and his youtube so you can guys can go and subscribe to him and follow me on twitter if you haven't already so it will say preparing iphone for restore and then it will come up with the old ios 6 logo if not guys, sure if you guys can see that but it is the old ios 6 um apple logo and then it will come up with black geek which is his icon and that's what it is I'm gonna skip until it comes to the end and then I will be showing you guys um, what happens at the end so I'm gonna stop the video here and then I'll show you I'll start it again once it gets to the end you guys can just stop my video here and start it when it gets to the end so I'm just gonna pause it here so hey guys it's X Original Tech and as you can see on my iPhone screen, it is almost halfway through. I've seen people do videos where they just skip the whole thing and it may be fake. So I'm just going to show you guys that it is moving indeed and it is working. So this is Black Geek. I will put his the link to his website in the description. Um, I'm sure you, you guys, some of you guys wouldn't be able to understand it if you only speak English. but do something smart and use Google Translate or, or something like that but if you can't as I said before if you can't read it then just use Google Translate and translate pretty much everything in there um, copy and paste um, and it would basically show you this tutorial button writing so as you can see guys it's almost at the end um, just a little bit of piece left sometimes depending on um, your iPhone um, it will depend on how far that goes across will depend on how long this little piece takes I'm not sure if you guys can see that little piece but it's just right there and it's not all the way across yet so I'm gonna pause the video and start it again when it gets all the way across 
and one more thing guys if you get the iTunes error 9 which a lot of people have been getting while doing this part you need to open up a file manager and go to computer go to your OS drive and go all the way down to Windows and then do system 32 and click on drivers and click etc and you'll see a file called host um, if you get the error 9 well at this part again you'll see a file host here just move it to your desktop and once the downgrade is finished just move it back to your desktop so move it not move it from your desktop back into this folder so I'm just gonna close out of this and I'm gonna stop the video here and start it again when it's got all the way across oh look it like it has so as you can see here it is all the way across but I'm still gonna stop the video because um um because of time so I'm just gonna stop the video and start it again once it returns the error 37 so uh, guys as you had before it will return an error 37 that is di normal and your screen will be in DFU mode so you won't be able to do anything um, you the screen will just be black so just wait for it and then just click and another thing guys um, if it says verifying iPhone restore on iTunes and you've been there for like five minutes don't worry just wait um, everything is just time so just wait for it don't go mad and turn off your device and restore again just wait and then it will come up with iTunes error 37 so I'm gonna pause again and then play once it's come up with that error so hey guys it's Excel Original Tech and once you receive this error do not run it worry your phone will not be able to turn on the screen won't turn on so you, you did no point trying do not worry the error is meant to happen so all you have to do is click OK and close out of iTunes it will say this again don't worry just close out of iTunes and once you've closed out of iTunes this is where Red Snow and this one comes in so you need to have those these are very important um, so once you've got that you need to open Red Snow and go to properties I'm not sure if I showed you guys this go to properties and go to compatibility and change it to service pack 2 click apply and ok and then you just run Red Snow as administrator and this will pop up and it will say iPhone 4 dash VZW DFU mode so all you have to do now is click extras and click select PS IPSW and then you go to your desktop or wherever you saved your normal IPSW the 6.0 IPSW and save that and then it will say the following build was identified all you have to do now is click OK and then click recovery fix okay guys first you click recovery fix once you click recovery fix it will come up with all of this I'm gonna stay here and not skip this part because this part is really fast and it will say uploading first stage and if you look at my device um, my device screen will come on with downloading jailbreak data I'm not sure if you guys can see that so I'm gonna push it up a bit I'm not sure if you can read the writing but it says downloading jailbreak data and then writing will come up on my screen so I just wait for the writing to go away and then it will go into a DFU mode again so let's just wait for that to happen and if you guys can hear a fan I'm sorry about that that's just my fan for my laptop cooling my laptop down so as you can see here it says downloading jailbreak data and then it just stops and then your screen goes black again that's meant to happen guys so all you have to do now is click quit out of right now and then run red snow as administrator again guys remember quit out of red snow you have to there's no choice you quit out of red snow and then run it as administrator again and then it will say iphone 4 vzw dfu mode again this time you click extras select ipsw and select your custom ipsw not your custom you select the normal ipsw which is this one for me it might be different for you guys so i'll put it in there and it will say successfully and then all you have to do now is just boot and it will say exploit in lime rain exploit i'm gonna leave it to boot up so you guys can see the fully boot and it will say waiting for reboot and then it will come up with the 
um, retina icon you do not have to worry about this even though it says done guys I would recommend that you leave it open just for the sake of it because I would leave it open so you just let it boot up it will have the retina icon there for a bit and then it will boot up 6.1.3 this is a tether jailbreak guys as I said before um, it will show this which is basically just um, the iOS 6 guys if you can see that it's just the iOS 6 um, loading bar which is the older one unlike iOS 7 one which is just a straight line and it will show the iOS 6 Apple icon which is kind of like the Mac icon and that will move across um, quite slow in fact um, depending on the device depending on how fast it wants to boot up so we'll just wait for that to boot up oh in fact it's moved quite fast for me this time so as you can see it just went straight across and then it goes back to this logo and it goes back to Apple logo and then the Apple logo dims this point at this point your device is basically downgraded you've completed completed successfully completed the, the downgrade if you guys have got this far then please um, tell me in the comments or just um, DM me on Twitter if you're following me and I'm following you just ask me to follow you and then I'll DM you you can DM me um, or you can just send me a message on YouTube if it's easier for you so I'm just gonna quickly run through this setup here off screen and then I'll come back to you guys once the setup's complete so I can show you the desktop so once you've gone through the setup um, it will take you to this point where you just click agree at the bottom right hand corner and then it'll say agree you just click agree and then it will say activate an iPhone <clears throat> and guys if you got stuck on an activation this is just a good way to get back to iOS 6 without having to be locked out of the thing your iPhone sorry and then if you want to use iCloud you can just click use iCloud if you don't want to use iCloud then just use click don't use iCloud I'm gonna click don't use iCloud because um, for the sake of the setup and then you put in I'm blurring out my emails here so I don't think you'll be able to see them and then it will say automatically send right here and don't automatically send depending on whichever one you guys want I'm gonna click automatically send and then it will say start using your iPhone so at this point you can just click start and you'll be on iOS 6 Cydia will automatically be installed so you won't have to worry about installing Cydia proof to you guys that I'm on iOS 6 I'm just gonna go into the settings um, go down to general about and as you can see guys I'm not sure if you can see that but it says iOS 6.1.3 there sorry about the cracks in the screen but this is just an iPhone I'm using for the sake of this video because someone wanted me to downgrade their iPhone so as you can see there it says 6.1.3 and I've successfully downgraded so as I said before guys if you successfully downgraded please tell me I'd like to hear what you guys got to say and message me on YouTube and also like this video and rate it up if you guys finished um, this is Xvision Tech please like subscribe and comment and don't forget to share and follow me on Twitter and also follow Black Geek Tutorial which is the person who made this downgrade peace